Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Michael Cianciolo with layout update number four. Now, before we start today's layout update, I thought I'd start by showing you something I got for my 18th birthday. Oh, life update. Like I just said, I turned 18 last Thursday. Whoopee, I'm an adult. And so this is what I got for my birthday. My mom got this for me. This is a BNSF SD70 ACE. I see these all the time in Houston and in the surrounding area. It's a very, very beautiful locomotive. Beautiful paint job. This is probably, I believe, my fifth SD70 locomotive. I love the paint job. I'm a sucker for uh, BNSF colors. I just love the orange. It's very bright and very eye-catching. And at the end of the video, you might see this run on the layout. So keep that in mind. Uh, the next item I got is this foam engine cradle. Very nice, very foamy. I'm gonna zoom out. Yeah, it's it's pretty basic. It's really just a foam triangle. And if I need to, you know, fix something or lubricate something, I can uh, use this to, well, do that. A lot of people in the hobby have an engine cradle, and for anyone in the hobby, I would recommend getting one. Um, I believe I still have the paperwork, um, one sec. Now again, as of right now, probably never, I am not sponsored by anything, but it is a Bear Creek uh, product. And while well, he was very, the, I, I mentioned this in this to everyone who gets a product, but it's very nice. And then it comes with uh, this magnet. Um, I, I don't know what it says. But yeah, um, again, you know, came with an engine cradle. That's kind of cool. And now before we uh, start layout progress, I'm going to show you one more thing. I got this uh, tool. Um, let me, you're getting an unbagging. You're getting all the stuff today. <coughs> so this is a, I don't know what it's called. I'm just gonna call it a screwdriver pen. So uh, the little stuff that you uh, hear in the uh, thing right now, those are all uh, screwdriver tips. Um, you know, a lot of, I mean, I've never really seen a tool like this before. Um, I'm not really sure when I'd really use this, but basically you get a bunch of little uh, screwdriver bits and there's more in. I'm not gonna get them all out because they're gonna go everywhere. Ah, jeez. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, I used to have a set of Okay, I still do. I have a little set of mini screwdrivers, but this might be a little better depending on the uh, size of the screw bits. Hopefully they're not too big because end scale is teeny, teeny, tiny. As anyone who works with end scale probably understands that. But yeah, so that's kind of it for things I got for my birthday. And next I will show you stuff I did on the layout, such as, you know, updates and all that. And now it's time for layout progress, my favorite part of the video. All right, let me just remove the phone from my trusty tripod. So remember that turnout I ordered back on Amazon? Well, it finally came in um, about two or three weeks ago and I'm very happy to have it. So now I have more options to uh, run any trains. As you can see, you know, by some of the freight cars I have parked here. Because before that, um, I, all I had was this back siding, and that was fine, but I didn't have really um, any extra space to store other trains. For example, I have this uh, 611 here, and I will um, kind of demonstrate real quick as I have track power. I'm going to do it very basically. I'm just a couple of few freight cars. Oh no, there's no caboose. Everyone's gonna kill me in the comments. Oh hush, y'all are gonna live. So I'm just gonna run the 611 real quick. Just pretend that's a full train. Very, very handsome, very pretty. All right. So we have our freight train. 
And so basically what I would do is I would basically say I wanted to drop off this log car and I want to pick up this reefer. I All I have to do is uncouple a freight car, pull the locomotive forward, um, uh, drive it backwards, pick up the car, and so on. So basically this is just to add a little bit more fun and enjoyment to um, my layout because my layout isn't very big so I can't exactly run, you know, like two or f I can't run a bunch of freight trains at one time. That would be cool, but I don't have the layout space for that. So that's just a little uh, demonstration. And now I will uh, talk about uh, any future layout plans. So there isn't really much to talk about in terms of layout progress. I think the only thing I would really add is probably another turnout so I could make this uh, half a siding into more of a passing siding. That way I could have a little bit more fun. Maybe I could pull off like, ooh, there's a CNO freight that I need to park to let a uh, Santa Fe freight pass by. Kind of really just an idea. Um, I thought that would be a really cool idea to kind of have the ability to have more trains on the layout and more fun for me. So that should do it, and now it's time for the end of the video. And now to conclude the layout update, I will be talking about possible future content for the channel. So sadly, I don't think I will be rail fanning at all this summer, mostly due to my job and other factors. And also I can't really drive that much because we're still dealing with this whole virus right now. But I, there is one positive as of right now for my channel right now. Um, I am very close to hitting 30 subscribers, and for a possible 30 subscribers special, I might be doing a complete locomotive inventory. Now, I'm not going to be doing a rolling stock inventory because we'd be here for the next 20 hours, and I'm sure my rolling stock would be very interesting, but no one really wants to see a bunch of, you know, simple pieces of boxes. I'd be like, oh, here's my UP boxcar. Oh, here's my other UP boxcar. Oh, here's my Wabash reefer. Here's my, and so on. I get really tedious and redundant. Now, how I'm going to do my inventory is likely similar to a video SMT Mainline did for his channel for, I don't remember which subscriber special he did, but he had sheets of, uh, sheets of paper and each locomotive for that respective year laid out in, you know, numerical order. I just think it'd be an interesting idea to do what he did, and also I think he's a really nice YouTuber and is a really good channel. So if you haven't, I suggest subscribing to SMT Mainline. He is a great YouTuber and does a lot of really nice videos. I do, I love his live streams and all that stuff. Anyway, so I think that should do it for this uh, layout update number four. I will see you next time, depending on where you're watching this. Have a good day, have a good morning, have a good night, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.